Hi there, Black Knight. I'd rather fight you. Why am I rolling heavy? Why am I fat rolling? Oh, is it because of the, the ring? I think it's because of the flame ring. The fat roll screwed me, man. Fuck. I'm having I'm having so much fun. I'm making so much progress. All right, yeah, it's because of this stupid ring. And we're back to normal rolling. All right. So we're just going to go down here. Take a hit because they love us. And potentially take more hits. Yep. So we're going this way. I'm just going to run past these basilisks because I don't think they're going to chase me very far. One of them's coming for me. Oh, he did chase me all the way. I mean, I hate you, but good for you, I guess. All right, Black Knight, I want a rematch. I'm no longer fat rolling. Oh my God. What? Oh no. Oh, that's Sorig. Fuck, man. That was the fastest rematch of all time. I've been disrespected so hard. Aw, oh, man, this area sucks, man. I think this is the most struggle I've had in, like... I feel like until now, most of my uh, streams have been pretty lighthearted. <laughs> it's still lighthearted, but, like, I'm definitely struggling more than I usually have been. But it's okay. We will... We will persevere. <sighs> There's so much here. So I still have to find that one path on the far side of the catacomb. And then I have to see what's on the other side of this Black Knight. I have to see what's the deal with Sorig. I have to kill him for the amount of times he's disrespected me. Alright, this Black Knight, I need to avoid his first attack very badly. This guy's kind of like Sorig in the fact that he does not stagger easily. Shit. Can you let me, like, fight you instead of, like, hiding from you the whole time? Finally. Ooh, I got his armor. I want to know why I'm having so much trouble even staggering these guys. I guess it's poise. I think poise is a statistic that's supposed to measure how hard it is to... Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. Don't tell me that's uh, the, the dude from the, from the shrine. Okay, big ladder. Where's this gonna take? Remember when this whole, like, 
excursion here began with me wanting to see what was at the bottom of that little lake on the bridge. This is kind of looking like it might lead there, maybe. Maybe? No, this looks like it leads to the ballista and the wheel skeletons. Nope. <laughs> uh, nope, we're gonna go die to Sorg a few more times. That's a very long ladder. Uh, now we have to go kill Sorig. I wish I could just drop on him from above, but I know that won't work. He's got a shield. I think he's scarier when he's two-handing. Oh my god. Just keep poking at him. Hello, Bob. Oh my god, I was trying to roll. I hate the fact that he taunts you when he kills you too. It's just the utter disrespect of it all. Hmm. Well, at least I appear to have found where I can end up disabling that uh, ballista. And the run back, it happens every time. It's the unglamorous side of playing these games. Is when you inevitably get wrecked. Okay, why are you all the way up here? Let me get my souls first. Let me unlock off. Let me lock off. Okay. Now we can fight. I don't know what even happened there. <laughs> this is awful. I've been, I've been streaming for like over two hours and I feel like I've gotten nowhere. I don't like when I feel like I don't make progress. going to all this trouble and we're just gonna have to f die to Sorig in one shot again.
Hi there, Soaring. I just want my souls, please. You, I don't know how you did, why is, oh my God, the Basilisk is chasing me here too? This is just not feasible. I need to kill the Basilisk first and I can't do that if Soaring is anywhere near me. want this basilisk gone. This is just making this so much worse for me. Oh my god. That's the bullshit combo he killed me with and I touched the lava. I rolled right into it. <laughs> my um, sanity is dwindling at this point. I, I think I recall in the last stream going on about how my sanity is doing great. This is the area where I'm putting down the markers on the ground saying, oh my god, my sanity is gone. <laughs> I know I can kill Sorg. I know it's possible for me to do it. I just don't like having to... I don't like this run every time. And I don't like the fact that he can basically one hit kill me like he he hits me once and i'm so stunned from it that i'm just gonna get follow-up hit and then i'm dead like he kills me in two or three hits and if i get hit once that's basically lights out and then i just absolutely hate basilisks and so i'm already stressed out about the fight and then here comes a basilisk to just ruin my day That's a good start. That backstab does not do as much damage as I would want it to. I don't know. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. <laughs> That's my conclusion on that one. I'm lucky. jump attack my favorite jump attack and he can pull it off and I can't oh my god good riddance man the fume ultra greatsword I got his weapon and the night slayer's ring what is what does the ring do night slayer's ring enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks okay interesting uh fume greatsword is that like the Fume Knight's weapon from DS2? Probably not. Fume Ultra Greatsword. Uh, it's a strength A, but it requires 50 strength to use it. Holy crap. 
This twisted sword, the heaviest of all ultra great swords, resembles black slate. This weapon, said to belong to a traitor from long ago, was so heavy that it found no owner and became a forgotten relic of history. Oh, for a second, I thought that was actually an illusory wall. I was gonna be like, I managed to find one without a mark. Okay. Well. Uh, we've killed Sorig. Got finally got revenge for ourselves about like six or seven times over. Now we get a good deal with this Black Knight, and hopefully he doesn't wreck us again. Then we have to do that run again. I'm lucky that that missed me. Alrighty then. Think there's any chance that there's also a bonfire at the top of this ladder? I know the answer is probably no, but... Okay, so I need to find a ring that'll let me walk across lava because there's two areas in this in this underground area in this underground cave that require that. I have to figure out how to get to that one area across the um across the like hallway there. And then Oh, there's an item right there. I think I can drop to get it, but then from there, I think I can actually just Dragon Rider bow. And then even after I finish exploring the catacombs, I haven't finished exploring this giant, the, the big lake. And then I still have to go back to Irithyll, because that's where I originally was, was exploring Irithyll, and now I am suffering. Looks like it's searching for me. Homeward bones. A couple of marks up this way. Nope, well, it definitely has found me. Ah, wheel. Ah, oh, great. Be wary of right. Yep, there's quite a few of them. I am lucky that I intercepted him. All right. Hopefully that's all of them. I hate them. Also awful. We need to work our way over to this giant ballista so that we can uh, shut it down. We need this thing to stop. I wonder if these people all died to the wheels or if there's some other unseen threat. I see threats, although I have dealt with these guys before. I can get one at a time. These guys are tougher without the, the ability to knock them down with the hammer.
Okay. I am running low on health things, so I hope I can take out this ballista before I die. Time for play dead. Does that mean that giant's not not dead? Push lever. Is this giant dead? Are any of these guys dead? You don't deserve this. Are you actually dead? I was expecting them to... Okay. We have disabled this awful last ballista that has just been raining crap down upon us this whole time. I could turn it back on if I want to. I guess uh, I did have to use it to open up that catacombs entrance. And it's also possible that there are other entrances. I just hope that there aren't. <laughs> I really hope there aren't. Uh, is there, there is a place down there. All right, go for it. Ah, uh, leg. <laughs> Visions of leg, so to speak. Agony. Huh, it's a crab. By the way, huh, it's a crab. Is there a reason to hurt leg? I guess this path continues down. Okay. It's much more peaceful in this lake now that uh, I don't have the giant ballista targeting me the whole time. Uh, I still have those questions in the catacombs. I need to find a ring that will let me walk on lava. Or at least make it so that I don't immediately die when I walk on lava. That is something right there. There's an item back there. I would want the ballista on to bust that open. I can explore everything that I want to while the ballista's off, and then I could go back and turn it back on. My God. I'm sorry, give me a second. There's a bonfire over here. <laughs> Let me go say hi to that. Then I will say hi to you. Oh my God, that thing is massive. Hey there. I hope you're enjoying the videos of the Dark Souls 3 adventure with me and my best friend. I'd love to hear what you all think, so please leave a like or a comment and consider subscribing to follow my journey to beat as many games as I can. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and I'll see you in the next one.